Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the third playlist in the series. We're looking at five difficult questions. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, or you can go to 3 Minute Maths and download the whole worksheet. In the previous video, we completed through to question number three. In this video, we're going to look at question number four. Okay, so here we are on question number four. It's a fairly new topic for GCSE. It's called counting strategies. If you're not sure, add a comment below and I'll send you through a link to a playlist. Okay, in this one we've got Liam is trying to remember a three digit code. He knows the rules. The first digit is a cube number. Well, if it's a cube number, it's either going to be just one digit, it's going to be one times one times one, so therefore it's going to be one, or 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to be 8, and there aren't any other single digit cube numbers. So it's either going to be 1 or 8 for the first digit. The second digit is going to be a factor of 16. Well, that's going to be 1 or 2 or 4 or 8. And remember, they have to be single digits. OK, and then the third digit is going to be an odd number. So that has to be either 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9. OK, and then it says, Liam tries at random a code that matches the rule. Work out the probability this is a correct code. Well, the number of codes available is going to be 2 codes there, multiplied by four numbers there, multiplied by five numbers there. So that is the total number of variations that are available. So the number of codes is going to be equal to 40. OK, and then it says if it's a random choice, and this is the important thing, it's a random choice, it's going to be random. So therefore, that's going to be one number from the first digit multiplied by one number from the second digit multiplied by one number from the third digit, which is actually going to be equal to one. So therefore, the probability that he's choosing the correct code is therefore going to be a probability of probability D is going to be equal to 1 out of 40 uh, variations. OK, I hope that's been useful for you. If you're not sure and you'd like to revisit or have a look at some more counting strategies, please do let me know in the comments. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.